So the other day I was watching Gerald Undone's video about the R5C and he mentioned that it has dual native ISO at 800 and 3200. And I thought this was very interesting because the regular R5, to my knowledge, has the exact same sensor and processor as the R5C, which got me wondering, does the R5 have a hidden dual native ISO. So I found another video by a channel called Deaf Director, uh, which basically did a noise test of the R5. Um, and it turns out that in C-Log3, the, the R5 does have what appears to be a dual native ISO also at 800 and 3200. And then that got me thinking again as to now that the R6 also has C-Log3, what if there is a hidden dual native ISO in the R6 as well? And you might like the results. To find out if the R6 does have a second uh, native ISO, um, I did a very simple test, which is you just take your camera and you put a lens cap on it and then just record at different ISO values. And then I brought them into uh, Adobe Premiere and I boosted each clip by five stops so we can more clearly see the uh, noise structure in each clip. So first up, we have a clip filmed at 800 ISO, which is the um, native ISO for C-Log3. And you can see a pretty standard noise structure. And then when we flick this over to 2500 ISO, it appears to get a lot noisier, but keep in mind this is boosted by five stops. But then something amazing happens when you flick that 2500 over to 3200 you would think it would get more noisy because the R6 does not have a dual native ISO, but instead you flick it over to 3200 ISO and it almost completely cleans up. And actually, if you compare 800 ISO to 3200 ISO, they appear to have almost the exact same noise structure, which is almost none. And to my eyes, it appears that the R6 has a second native ISO of 3200. Furthermore, to this point, 6400 ISO is actually cleaner than 2500 ISO. 2500 ISO is fairly noisy. 6400 ISO is pretty clean, actually. I was very surprised at how clean 6400 ISO was. And then even up to 12,800 ISO actually appears cleaner than 2500, which is just, ridiculous. To more accurately see this test um, on YouTube, since it has pretty terrible compression, um, definitely watch this video in the highest quality that you possibly can. Um, or if you have an R6, definitely do it yourself and view the um, files straight out of camera um, on your computer. It will, you will, you will see a big difference between 2500 ISO and 3200 ISO. And I really hope that comes across in this video, even after YouTube does all their compressing. After doing these uh, lens cap tests, I wanted to do something a little a little more real world. Uh, so I set up a little scene, um, nothing special, just uh, my Nikon F2 on the table. And I just filmed it at different ISO values um, with the same lighting and everything. And I just changed the ISO uh, depending on whatever I needed and then changed the aperture. Um, so all the other settings were the same. And then um, I cropped into 400% on the video so we can better see the actual noise structure um, in the shadows at each of the ISO values. If we look at 800, it has what we would expect from a native ISO. And then if we flick it over to 2500, you can A, see that I didn't properly match the exposures, but B, that it is quite a lot noisier than the 800 ISO. And then finally, when we turn it over to 3200 ISO, the shadow noisiness cleans up considerably, which is great to know that it also, it's just, it happens in real world test too, not just with a lens cap and cranking the exposure. So this test has been very fascinating to me personally because I shoot with these cameras every day. The last test I did for this is I also shot at 3200 ISO in C-Log1 to see if, um, if there was a big difference in terms of noise based on the different log profiles that you were using. And then to my surprise, C-Log1 actually looked a bit cleaner than C-Log3 at 3200 ISO. I assume this is just the in-camera noise reduction coming into effect uh, because you will not get nearly as much of the like um, dynamic range in C-Log1 as you will in C-Log3. So I would 
for, for me personally, I would rather have a slightly noisier image um, with much better dynamic range because that's what's, what people will actually notice. The results of these tests honestly have really amazed me and I feel that I know my camera a lot more than I used to and I'm very happy that uh, we have not much noise on the R6 now at 3200, which is great. Basically, the thing that I learned is stay the heck away from 2500 ISO. But if you're gonna film at 2500 ISO, just flick it over to 3200 ISO and it will be insanely clean. So has this test uh, made the R6 a more viable option for you? Or are you amazed by these findings? Or um, if you have different findings testing it on your own, let me know down in the comments. I would love to read that. Anyway, that is gonna do it for today's video. It was a bit of a quick one, but I really wanted to get this out to you and show off this pretty cool discovery. I didn't personally discover it. Um, I just wanted to test if it also worked on the R6, and it does. Anyway, um, that is gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. It greatly helps this channel grow, and I will see you in the next one.